welcome to this week's podcast. We bring to you unwelcome. See who loved it, see who hated it, and what's going on with this week's pick. Um, you ever find yourself, uh, you know, you're hanging out with the missus, maybe you don't know what to watch. You're sitting there, you know, leave it to us. We'll tell you what streaming service, what to watch, where to get it, all that good stuff. Also, like, share, subscribe. Tell all your friends. Come on down. You ain't got no friends? That's fine. I don't got any fucking friends. Come on down. You always got a spot here. Doesn't have any friends, E-dubs. How about that? Uh... I mean, I you guys are friends, but you guys live in How different about states. That? I'm right it's here. Not like, it's not like you guys can come over and hang out with me, is what I'm saying. That's true. You're not gonna sit next to me on the couch and watch a movie. You're not that's not what's happening. Also leave I a would comment love for that to happen, but it ain't happening. And let us know if you want us to review a certain movie, we'll consider it. Check us out. Love you guys. Let Thank us. you for watching. Tell your fucking friends. The fuck out of here. Go to a bar, make Everybody. some friends, tell them about us. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. God damn. So, without any spoilers. Yep. Um, this movie is great at um, making Everything. you hate. Oh, no, no, this movie is solid. But this movie is great at making you hate certain people. And really yeah. highlighting the fucking full, uh, you know, shit pig people. Um, cause there's, the world is just filled with them and they're fucking everywhere. And you really feel bad for this couple having to deal with what they're dealing with. A hundred percent. Um, also the guy who plays the villain, like the main guy, mm-hmm. uh, was it Carl right. Meany? Yep. Is that and his name? A, right. Yep. yep. And he's he goes a, by daddy. Oh, dude. Well, yeah, we'll get super in, uncomfortable, but we'll, overall, we'll I, I like him. But he's always a villain, so yeah. it's it's kind yeah. of a dead giveaway when you watch a movie. Like you see him, you're just like, oh, he's the fucking scum shit of this fucking movie. Right. You play. Yeah. He played um, uh, the the Dick Holt character. He was like on the good guys team, but he was also a point of contention in Con Air. Yeah. And he played like he was an ultra dick in Con Air. I think you nailed it, Ben. He's he's a constant dick hole in every fucking role he plays. However, you got to commend him. It's believable as fuck. Like he's he's really honed in on how to be a piece of shit. Right. And the, the fucked up thing about it is that he has this thing about drawing you in. So there's yeah. like a weird comfort to him. Mm-hmm. Like he yeah. makes you feel comfortable and then he fucking stabs you. You know what I mean? Like 100%. So um, the people who played like the two that played his kids um, was it? Chris Wally is the actor's name, and he plays a character named Killian. And then the, he has a daughter uh, who's a fugly munter. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, she annoyed the sh- fucking shit out of me this whole movie. I couldn't wait to watch her die. Ugh, that's all I'll say about it. This movie was fantastic. I loved it. Uh, the um. The red caps or the dur rig, yeah. Uh, Same you know, thing. they um, well, okay, hold on. So, their their race they're called the dur rig, but everybody refers to them as the red caps, yeah. They're also mentioned to be like leprechauns, they are fucking not more like fairies, they, but they get evil, mistaken. yeah. She, one of the evil characters, they say in there that they get mistaken for leprechauns a lot. Um, because they do again, this good. movie is really heavy on rules too, mm-hmm. and there's really only one fucking rule. Just leave an offering every night for them, and you will be left alone. One hundred percent. So this movie takes place in Ireland. Uh, it's in, I believe it's it's all Irish folklore. 
uh, the the main couple leave uh, London, and the the main character, uh, the, the the gentleman. Um, hold on, I got it. I like how you said that's all I'll say about it, and then you just went into saying more. Oh fuck Robert. it! His name is his name is Douglas Booth. All right, he plays a character named Jamie. I guess I won't talk then. Yeah, it's fine. He's left the house, and that's how they <laughs> get the house in Ireland. There you go. All right. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> Appreciate it. You were looking down the whole time. I don't know what you're fucking doing. I was like, I, I was looking folding up, your fucking socks I was or something. Looking, I don't know. I was looking up the because I forgot the writer's name for the other movie he did. Because I was going to. You mention said you that took later. notes. I did take notes, but I forgot to write down because he didn't write God the damn. movie I was going to talk about. I look at all this shit, dude. Look at all this shit. I believe you. Took a bunch of notes on this shit. I didn't believe you, honestly. All right, I don't give a fuck. So, hold on. If you could give a fuck, would you gift wrap it? Like, how would you present your fuck to me? <sighs> With a kiss. So you would just hand me a fuck and give me a smooch? Did I say I hand? Hear. Did I say hand? You're not getting a fucking hand. You're getting a little smooch. Oh, that's it. Yeah, dude. So, so how would my fuck be delivered? Like that? A little kiss. You could have fucked me with your mouth. Is that what you're saying? Hey, you could <laughs> interpret that any way you want to. All right. I'm oh, changing the name back to lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't. I'm serious. Don't. <laughs> you deliver a fuck with your mouth? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I'd like one. All right. I'll give you one. <laughs> Nice little fuck kiss. All right. Well, if Eric's going first, I'll take sloppy seconds. So. What's up, Ben? Focus up, man. I like. Let me, uh, let me get your fucking energy, you beautiful bastard. Dude, I haven't even got a fucking word in edgewise. All right. You haven't even given me the chance to give God, me the energy. You're such a gorgeous, gorgeous man. Oh, shut up. Come on. Let me hear what you got, bro. Don't want to call a gorgeous man by you ever again. I know that. So <laughs> this movie's one of my all-time favorites. It jumped right up there. I'm very biased when it comes to Irish folklore shit because it's some of my favorite uh, subgenre for anything. It's it's it just hits me right in all the right spots. I actually am a huge fan of Irish horror films. Just Irish films in general, um, even ones that came out recently, they're just great. And Irish directors are always pretty great. Uh, acting, I don't know what it is about them. Maybe it's the heritage thing about being warrior poets. The poetry and the gift of gab is always something that Irish people are, are known for, generally speaking. But man, even on low-budget stuff like this film, the acting was just incredible all the way through was this low budget i mean it had a, it had a decent budget uh so did grabbers which is another movie of his but that um, was low budget yeah but i mean it still looked great and this i loved des the design of the creatures i loved it and uh the the little red caps the lore was awesome it's just it's just a fun ride from beginning to the end, and it does something I mention a lot on this podcast, but the exclusion horror aspect of it, one location primarily. It was like two, including the bar, but most of the things just happened at that house, and yeah. it felt like a play, which is something I bring up. Like Quentin Tarantino does that a lot, and where it feels like you're on the set of a, of a live play that's happening, and this really amped that up changing the color of the sky, changing a lot of the atmosphere. Everything felt controlled. I really liked that a lot about it. It was very saturated. Yeah, and he's got good cinematography, generally yeah. speaking, and he knows what he's doing with the with the camera, for sure. Uh, even his lower, his other films that I've seen him make, he, he went on to direct... Um, other British like TV shows and stuff, and then some other other things. But you know, he's a working he's a working guy, and I think he's got a good understanding of of horror. 
and what is effective about about it. And this was just fun. This is one of those horror movies that's just downright fun. And we'll talk more in the spoilers about some of the twists that happen in it. But to do that, it, it was like an hour and 30 minutes. It's like an hour and 32 minutes. So this is a very tight movie, man. It, there's, there's no there, fat. There's, yeah, no. They get yeah. right to it. They give you a little bit here and there. But for right. the most part, it's a fucking... Once the, once the train leaves the station, bro, it's gone. And it's... There were no trains in this movie, by the way. Yeah. But no, it, you're right, though, because it has that really great momentum. And even from the opening scene, it's just it. You're like, you can't wait for the next thing to happen. And it was unpredictable. That's why I liked about it, too. I didn't know what was going to happen next, even in the stuff that like you're, you're figuring. Oh, OK, so this is when they're going to start okay. doing this. You can kind of see what happens. I mean. There's a certain bit, people, but not certain people are shown in a certain light, and well, that's you know, just who they yeah, are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You kind of know where that's going to go. Yeah, we'll get more into that stuff because that I could talk. I'm going to get really in depth about that stuff. But all in all, uh, the sound design fantastic. I mean, it's just okay. So I, we don't have to spend too much time and time in the spoiler free part of this. But uh, I just in in closing, like this this is going to come out a week after st patty's day so we're doing this a day after st patrick's day i mean if you're still in that march st patrick's day vibe uh because i i know that the leprechaun series is is right now streaming on uh i think it's peacock yeah peacock's got all every single leprechaun movie on it right now and you can just go to one like hub for it and click on it and I'm still going to be in the same Patty's Day mood for a little while, so I would highly recommend this movie. It, it For me, it's going to be every time this year I'm going to watch this. I'm going to try to buy it or rent it or do whatever I need to and, and watch it because it's, it's this just This is your holiday, holiday movie for this one? This, this is my definitely. I, I, li- I like the Leprechaun movies a lot too, even the bad ones. They're just really fun to me. I'm a big Warwick Davis fan too, so big fan of Willow. But this is just something that you can pop in around the holiday of that. Just really, hell yeah! It's just, it's just, a, it's just a really fun ride. Hell yeah, fun ride. I say I didn't feel like I was on a ride. I did. I felt like I was in a waiting room. No, I'm just kidding. This movie's actually this movie delivers pretty well. This movie's a really good revenge flick. Yeah. It, it, and uh, can it, we leave the fucking non spoiler shit? Yeah, we'll great. get right into it. The, we don't have to talk about every fucking scene and tell them the no, whole yeah, movie. No, yeah, we're fine. Like, yeah, that's what I was going to say. I think we're. Yeah. That's. I just wanted to close it by saying it's a good holiday movie for this time period. And that's pretty much it. So, uh, so yeah, spoiler, spoiler, free is over. We are now going into spoiler territory. And the first thing I'll say, I'll just piggyback off literally what you just said. This movie has a lot of onions to it. So it's or a lot of onions to it. That's a fucking stupid way to say that. A lot of layers, Irish people have a lot of onions. Lot, you know, there's is that, that, is that a thing? I, I onions I come know, from probably. Ireland. No potatoes. 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 I'm sure they. You know what those? Re- do you know what really goes good with fucking potatoes? Everything. Onions. It's true though. Yeah, that's what Everything. I was. That's what I was. That's the correct answer. So you, there's just a lot <laughs> going on here with this movie. <laughs> I'm just going to try to bypass the onion. How <laughs> uh, much time you wanted to linger on the onion <laughs> conversation. I fucking eat onions with everything, man. Oh, so you still want to keep talking about it. All right. <laughs> well, so, potatoes too. I feel like a good baked potato will fucking set the meal off, dude. Yeah, of course. Oh, here comes, dude, E-dubs just Here's came. I can see him <laughs> coming in, dude. <laughs> How did you know I was coming back to this? <laughs> because I could see you in the corner on like the queue part. Oh, dude, I heard you talking about onions and potatoes too long. And I was like, I'm coming back, dude. dude I was you, making pizza. I, I was going to say, what are you all doing, you little tr- uh, br- uh, bridge troll? <laughs> yeah, just, y'all know when you're recording, I just eat the whole time. Like, oh, you don't say. Yeah. Yeah, dude, of course. <laughs> Fuck, we didn't know. We knew that, dude. We have a whole episode dedicated to you eating shit. It's even named after you, your escapades. Mm. Anyway, dude, a good baked potato. Come on. Come on. 
Actually, I just found a recipe for for a fucking potato pizza. All right, the how do you guys is get, potato, right? How do you guys get your baked potato? Ooh. Oh, dude, I would you fuck know, that you up. You go in England, they get them with baked beans and tuna. Wait, what? I'm sorry. Did, can you say they're that called, again? My brain shut down. Potatoes. Listen, eat up. In the UK, I, they go get a potato, put baked beans on it, and then fucking tuna. They put baked beans on everything. They put baked beans Listen, on fucking toast. I, I was really happy about talking about baked potatoes. I don't know why you got to throw that at me. You're trying to make me depressed? Tuna. Stop. No, dude. Quit saying it. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> How do you guys I mean, like your baked potatoes? How do loaded. You loaded. loaded. Exactly, dude. Fucking sour, sour cream. cream Whatever butter, you fucking have. Cheese, 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 cheese. Loaded, dude. Loaded. Every time, dude. Every fucking time. Yeah, dude. I like sometimes the baked potato is the fucking meal itself. One, one time I was trying to eat a little healthier and go, maybe I won't go loaded this time just to save my butt some trouble. Hold and on, this needs hot sauce. I'll be right back. I was upset about it, dude. I was upset. I was like, I'm not ever not ever fucking do skimp on a loaded potato. Dude, loaded. I am a sucker for some chives, bro. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Oh yeah. I need to see those little greens. Mm. So this movie has a lot of chives. This movie has a lot of green. It has a lot of green. Everything was effective. It's so this movie starts off with a home invasion that causes them to go, fuck, dude. Wait a minute. Anymore. What? <laughs> <laughs> if you skimp on a loaded potato, how do you even call it loaded? No, 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 no. I just didn't get the loaded part. I just got butter and sour cream. That's it. And I was yeah. like, I'll, cause I was just trying to be a little healthier. You got but a sad was, potato, but it was sad. And I was like, I'm never doing this again. I don't care if it kills. That me. is a very depressing sandwich. Like, loaded potato. Yeah. I like that. Both of you guys said loaded, like without mm. even hesitation. And mm. of course you do. It's so fucking good. Are you, do you guys How fuck the fuck with, do you not? Do you guys fuck with potato skins? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, of course you do. The same thing, course. different. Come on. Okay, here's the thing. I'm a, the, same, I'm, same, but different. I'm generally interested in this. So I didn't realize that oh. toasted ravioli wasn't a thing in most places that weren't the Midwest. Do you guys even know what I'm talking about? Toasted ravioli? Yes, I've had toasted ravioli. Oh. Is it like I know what you're talking about? But do you? I've had you, deep fried raviolis, boy. Yeah, that's toasted yeah. ravioli. That's what I'm saying. I've, yeah, raviolis, however point. you want to make them. I don't give a shit. Yeah. I fucking eat. Usually yeah. they're. Those are not the same thing, man. Toasted and deep fried. Dude, most of the Thank time. Thank you, me dubs. Thank you. Let's call them toasted ravioli. All right. No. No. Those you are toasted in a fucking convection oven or toaster. All right. Maybe you're right. Hence, toasted. <laughs> I don't know why you got to be so angry at me about this. All right. Because you said right. toasted, deep fried, same thing. Like, I literally... clearly don't even want to fight with you. I'm gonna just let it go. I'm glad Eric's here to fucking, <laughs> fucking you regulate. Can't eat fried chicken because it's fried. I bet if it was toasted chicken, you could eat it. It's true. I can eat baked so chicken. They are very different. Yeah. Toasted chicken sounds really gross for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't sound appetizing at all. You're a toasted chicken. Thank you. Uh, that's all I had to do. <laughs> <laughs> This edible's kicking in. I feel pretty toasted right now. Yeah, so start to the home invasion. And Wait, got... how do you feel about that? How do you feel about... I thought it was a great way to start the, the No, but like when movies have like uh, home invasion shit because it's... I understand it's a trope and they, they do it a lot. But they make... They really sell these fucking scummy fuckheads. Well, well, hold on. You had a question. To a fucking team, well, man. Well, of course they did. Um, yeah, and I agree. But what you had a question. You said, how do I feel about home evasion parts, right? Is that the yeah, question? yeah, yeah. Because personally, it bothers me. So I'm just, that's it, what I'm doing. It, as long as it's done right and it has a purpose behind it, I'm fine with it. No, no, no. I mean, it's effective because it fucking bothers me. Oh, like, I immediately want to oh, go out and buy a gun. That's what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, no, yeah. no, 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 no. That's... Honestly, the home invasion shit is the things that get me the most in movies because I've dealt with spooky shit my whole life since I was a little little kid. So the sh that shit doesn't really bother me too much anymore. But the fucking the, the real shit, the home invasion shit fucks me up, dude. Yeah. That's the shit that fucks me up the most. Ghosts, aliens, monsters, whatever. Yeah, it's yeah, fine. Those... But the home invasion shit, yeah. because people are, ugh, it's fucking people. 
and they fucking they sell how fucking scummy these Dude, people are. Just, and then when they get to Ireland, they it, they immediately invite yeah. the scummiest fucking family to help them. So yes, yeah, so they so they do this home invasion. So this the movie starts off with them finding out they're pregnant. That's a big part of it too. And then all of a sudden this home invasion happens and it's like rough. And then it's just after that, it's like eerie and there's weird parts to it. There's a they, they do a good job like breaking and keeping up the momentum going. And uh so he gets inherited his his aunt's house and he was actually relatively it's close to her so it makes sense it's not like a distant relative or some shit which is a trope but it's a play on the trope just like no i actually knew this but it's just a plot device to make the movie go forward and have them go there and that's what i mean by i think it's effective to have the home invasion part in the beginning because it really does set a precedence of their mental state through the entire right you are benjamin right and, you are. and one of the things i thought was a one of the layers of the onion that i thought was really cool to do to add depth was they gave the the male an anger issue so they both were dealing with that because that that just happened to them like seven months ago and so or nine months ago because she's like nine months pregnant at that point because she could drop at any point and that plays a lot into the movie too so everything had a purpose and i thought that was really cool and there's really I always talk about trying to move the movie forward in a very entertaining way because you have to deliver information, the setting, the lore, all that stuff. And every bit of that pacing was right on time. And it always broke by some kind of tension or weird thing that happened. And as soon as the people, so they, they need, there's a big hole in the roof. There's things that need to be done in this house and they need to hire people where they're all booked up. And then all of a sudden they hire these fucking terrible ass fucking people the fucking the rowdy family of the town small town in ireland and after that it's just hit after hit. i mean after it's hit. a stereotype it's a they are the sure. full fucking stereotype i it's, know I mean, those the people son likes to fight the Dude, daughter is a yeah. whore and then they kind of have a and, and son that, that's that like archetype a big is in the archetype is in every single like city region country all that shit dude yeah and he had dry ramen hair. So he had the Justin Timberlake yeah. thing going on. Yeah, he had the dirt bag, like, you know, we'll steal his Which is, again, look. <clears throat> like, I'm going to talk about how much I hate these fucking people, but they really Sell sold it. their fucking... Dude, the it must be easy to be a so fucking scumbag. Good. The acting was so good. And I do want to talk about the dialogue a little bit. I know I always bring that up, but it's always an important part about the movie but i really and liked how organic everything felt nothing felt forced or wasn't too stylized and when the jokes were hitting it was dry but hit right and it felt the the tone felt very very on point are you talking about the jokes in between the couple themselves those were more like cutesy oh you can kind of understand the relationship but there was like small moments that were actually funny like there was moments with the actual creatures uh oh yeah yeah, yeah. no there was like that. they there were was, great the was, entire time and there was funny things that happened even with the family and like and the 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 bad people and so uh to kind of put it in context these people that they hire to fix their house are just they're terrible and aj you described them pretty well but the the thing that about that i loved about this movie the most is they were the the monsters of the movie. Truly, they were the Pretty bad much. guys. They were the villains. Really, I mean, there was still the creepy aspect of the Red Caps and what they offered in the horror aspect of what they were. But it, but they eventually are just like their violence that happens are on these three character, four characters that you hate already. There's only one person that was slightly charming that they killed in the towards the beginning of the movie but other than that like it was Which, all the people I kind of that felt bad for that guy because I did. nobody that reminded me of the drunk in critters nobody mm -hmm. ever pays attention to the fucking drunk right you go to a bar or a pub and some drunk dude is talking and he he might say some off off beat shit listen to him yeah because he said some sh fucking shit but then he leaves and he's the first person off and you're like ah. Oh. 
Well, and he um, he didn't really do too much to really offend you. You know, he wasn't. He was just the town drunk. Right, right, right. He you didn't know, even he, say anything that bad. He just but opened his mouth and said something you gotta he have, shouldn't have. But right, but you got to have that a little bit of a oh man kind of kill. Uh, and I like that it was at the beginning, almost like he's the asshole that everybody accepts. You're right. just like, oh, that's just drunk guy. He's fine. Yeah. He's fucking harmless. He just speaks out of his asshole. And uh, I thought the dialogue was just it, it was very poignant moved everything along while being slightly entertaining uh here and there and man the so you brought it up earlier and i want to definitely talk about it so this movie did a really good job of the pacing of the creepiness too and when it crescendos it fucking it's loud but leading up to there one of the creep you you felt some you felt creep in this movie what i meant what i meant by just unsettlingness and things that are like, oh, you're gonna have to watch out for that. And the one that I uh, that you mentioned that I, I t- wholeheartedly agree with is the daddy thing. So yeah, that that's, that's so, weird. so it's a it's a dad, right? Which we talked about the actor. And everybody right? in the town calls him dad. By the way, they call yeah, him daddy. It's daddy in their last name. Yeah, like so, it's what they always, yeah, yeah. you know, because he he forces everyone to call him daddy. Well, with the main character, uh, um. Maya, who's uh, I think her first name is Hannah, the actress. So every time she refers to him, he's like daddy. Well, because she keeps calling him Mister. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's Williams. being she's being polite. Yeah, she's like, hey, Mr. Williams. Well, because that's the appropriate thing to do to correct. You, you know, you don't she's know English, and he's the boss, right? And so she's English, and he's his family's from Ireland, but he grew up in Britain. And so he's right. got the British accent. I mean, as right. far as the story is concerned, I don't know right. about the actor. I'm sure the actor is just British, but that 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 adds that le- uh, level of contention between him and the the workers because there's even a moment where they get into it, and he goes, "I'm actually Irish," and he goes, "Oh yeah," <laughs> like, and then they poke fun at oh, him yeah, the whole yeah. time. I mean, they're well, just terrible. But that's the thing. Like the, the the so the movie's called Unwelcome. So it's like they're making those. The, two, the couple feel unwelcome. However, it's only that family. There's a there's a scene. Ben, how'd you feel about they walked into the pub and everyone just fucking stared Dude, I was going to talk about that. That's why I meant by one of the, like, the creepy moments. And I thought that that was genius to do. That was genius to and do. And then immediately everyone's like, hey, welcome. They play a prank on them where they when they walk in, they um, everyone's just staring at them like, like ominously. And just like what the fuck is going on i mean full dead stare and just full dead stare the whole place is silent and then all of a sudden they all just go ah like we're fucking with you and then it's a party after that and and the town is very welcoming like the grocery store guy is gives them the first round of groceries for free and okay hold uh, on i have a question i don't yeah. mean to cut you off no go I, ahead but do you think everybody was nice to them because they knew what house they were living in and they knew that they were the ones to give the treats to these the the durig right the red caps like do you uh, think they all knew that so they were being nice to them to be I like i hope an they interesting do the ritual. theory i don't want to disprove it i think that uh i didn't really see that but i could see that being a a, a hidden layer i didn't see it the first time i watched it but the third and fourth time i, I watched can, it i was like i feel like the whole I town is in on it i can't say no the only thing I would say is I think more people would approach her about it, but mm. and that and the other lady pulled her aside like this is a secret kind of thing because you know other people think that she was just a mad woman. Even that one guy that was fucking with them said that your aunt killed their kid. So everyone in the town, as far as well, I remember, thought that that his aunt killed her baby uh, out of depression oh, yeah, yeah. instead of the red caps taking him. So I think they just all thought that she was crazy. I think that this. Again, you could be right though, but I I saw it as the town was just nice to them because they're a young couple who's going to help keep the town alive and you know maybe rebuild that house and and also they're just nice. It's just a nice community and everyone's you know, from what I understand. I don't want to talk out of school or out of pocket, but from what I understand, the Irish culture is very um, inclusive. Like they they. It's like almost a party, black party every night. Everyone goes to the same pub and, you know, they just, they like to sing and dance and have a good time. 
and so it's just one of those things that like yeah good coming i'm sure not every place like that is or is like that in ireland but i'm just saying that was that's a general thing that's played off in movies so i just kind of chopped it up to that but you could be right because that's an inter that's a more interesting way to look at it for sure i mean it's a new take on going into a fucking town and everybody yeah. hates you right where you know this one the town everyone was kind of happy right there like, except yeah. for this one family that the town even a couple of people kind of warned them about them they're like they're okay they're just a little rowdy yeah 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 yeah, yeah. but yeah, yeah, yeah. that's that's like soft way to put like they're fucking scumbags right and every town has them so it's right. not like we're just picking on you know certain people and the moments no, with them everybody has this group of people that lives in a neighborhood and you're just like that they're fucking shit and they are and the moments with them were always so tense so very because they're garbage people yeah dude this it dude was, takes a it shit eerie and flush it and then yeah. clogs her toilet <laughs> and like looks in and looks in uh and looks in her panty drawer and all sorts of debauchery going on it's a you know that that's what i mean by the pacing of it is before you even really see the red caps they're very you know hidden and stuff like that it it's very much a more of a home invasion i have to deal with these rednecks thriller kind of movie and then the red caps show up and the horror movie starts and it's a gore fest it's it it just and it's a little the, different for me. That's when the comedy started. That's Diana, when the comedy. It's it's I fun. It's it's just fun when that happens. In my opinion, it was when the really revenge scary. when the revenge movie started. Yeah, it was fucking on, uh, on and awesome. Yeah, it to me and it still scary, beautiful. But, but it didn't. Yeah. It didn't like. It didn't desaturate when certain right. things happened. It was like right. it got more beautiful. She's wearing a yellow dress the whole yeah time, for the most part at this second half of this movie. She's in the woods and it's like super dark and it's oversaturated with all the greens. She really pops out. It's beautiful. It's a, it's, it's a great, gorgeous, gorgeously framed fucking movie. Well, that's what I meant by they they can they had full control of the entire set. Yeah, they can change the color of the sky. Uh, you were talking about it being really beautiful. Some of my uh, the my favorite parts are when she goes into the woods and there's this yellow shimmer that happens where you it t visually tells you she's like stepping into almost another world yeah. and then there's that part where there's all the trees in this uh, that makes like a row it makes like a hallway of trees almost mm -hmm. in the forest and it's mystical and eerie and gorgeous and awesome and the shots were really cool just that's another really thing about fun. ireland you can't look at any place in Ireland and not even remotely think about fantasy or some kind of a hundred percent. You know what I mean? Like there's, yeah, it gives there's like, this... there's some unknown like beauty behind all of this stuff. Yes. Especially to e us everywhere. as Americans, right? Because we're not used to that kind of landscape. There's a fucking culture here. What do we have? Every, not... every patch of woods we have is covered with fucking meth heads and tents. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, it doesn't have that. It doesn't have that slim gym wrappers. It doesn't have that mystical, wrappers, and have that mystical Lord of the Rings vibe to it. And this is like steeped in folklore and in mystical shit. There's the my one of my favorite things about this. They didn't hold back on these red caps at all. They made them magical. They could do uh, mystical things, and and they were very powerful. Uh, on and so I really want to talk about these things. Go for um, it. Let's do right. it. Dude. Dive into it, baby. First off, special effects. Incredible. A mixture of practical with CGI that just made these things pop off the fucking screen, dude. Uh, I mean, this is what I would hope if someone would redo Gremlins, they would take this technology and do it. Yeah, no, this definitely, this reminded me of like Ghoulies, Gremlins, yeah, it was like, it was but, good shit. But it was the best version of yeah. themselves. And each one of these things were dressed different they looked different each one of them had their own personalities everything was attention to detail and here's the thing that i'm the most proud of this movie for which is saying a lot because i i i have zero flaws in this movie for me it's that usually when a movie we've bitched about this before usually when a movie focuses so much on one aspect where they put they put so much detail in one especially in horror films 
there's yeah. something lost somewhere else in the movie. Great example when we reviewed Boogeyman past episode. Check it out. The lore of the creature and the creature design itself was awesome, but they felt like they focused so much on that that the acting was bad, the the plot was bad, the the you know just yeah. it was but stale. The, also, the creature didn't make any sense for right. It, the it, not, nothing so, yeah. on purpose. They just they all they cared about was making the lore cool and the creature cool, and they didn't build a movie well around that. This, yeah. however everything felt very precise and purposeful on top of having a well-designed creature and oh, no, on this top movie of was executed cool. beautifully and and that is a feat to do in an hour and 32 minutes dude that is crazy to do that that to have so much to talk about we have more to talk about on this movie than we've had on most movies because there's just so much to celebrate with something like this and uh, the but the the clothes is something I wanted to highlight because their even their clothes their weapons all that stuff it was similar and there was unified but it wasn't like a copy and paste it was yeah. it was all well just thought out and I couldn't I I was I was because that's when you wait so long to see these things right and you can't wait I mean look at the poster how many times have we seen a poster like this where you see the design of the monster and then when the movie happens you barely see it. Well, I mean they do in the beginning when they when they off the first person they show it, they show one of them and but then But it's barely. It's still it's yeah. weird trick shots, it's care it's it's I barely. thought maybe like you know how like there's like there's always this big reveal. Well, I'm just glad they did that that way, but anyway. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They always have like a big reveal. When right. they finally show you the That's first what I'm saying. red cap, he just walks into the house Dude, and, and it's, delivers that scene is so awesome. <laughs> and the best part about it is you always like, where the fuck? Like, we're making movies in modern day. You mean to right. tell me no one has a fucking like no one thinks to go to their camera? This bitch does. She exactly. pulls the fucking camera out and she starts taking pictures. It, it, but beautifully, like 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 fantasy and everything. Exactly. It's blurry. It's it, it, you can't take pictures of magic. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like that kind of idea. So you you notice that there's something in the picture but you can't make it out. Which tell it's it's a plot device too to show you that uh cuz you would think well wouldn't technology be able to find these things? So there you go. They're fucking mystical magical. The only way you know these things exist is if you see them in person and try telling somebody that they exist without you sounding crazy. And th <laughs> that's pretty much like I love that and that was all explained through visuals. And I do want to talk about that scene, dude. So, she, so she she saw these things. So backtrack a little bit. There is a big ogre family member. We haven't talked about him at all yet. Oh yeah, no, he's the big oaf that I didn't. He's the big I didn't oaf. name him. Simple, and he the actor that plays him. I don't have his name written down. I should have. He's the same guy that plays uh, Hordor in. I think his Game name is Eon. He's also in. Uh, yeah, his name is Christian Name. There you go. He's actually he also plays in the uh, Our Flags Mean Death on HBO Max. Or I'm sorry, Christian Naren. I fucked his name up. That's fine. He also he also plays on that show, uh, Our Flags Mean Death, HBO Max. Very very good show. There's two seasons of it. It got canceled after two seasons because it was expensive. He's way it, funnier on the show than he is in this movie. Do, well, yeah, he's not even funny in this movie at all. He's <laughs> creepy and eerie, but he does a credible fucking job. He plays a simpleton who's always listening to music, and he gets abused by his dad. His brother and sister are rude as shit to mm. him. But then he go and he's he's out. They in the explain middle, why too. And he's, and he's lumber. Yes, later. But he's lumbering over this like rock pile and she's she's out there because she follows a dog out and she finds the Red Caps village, but no one's home. Okay, hold on. So the dog, the first person that died, mm -hmm. it's that dude's dog. Right. And that's the reason why he went missing is because she didn't put an offering out, but he went into yes. the woods because he stumbled out of the bar out of the so pub because he was drunk looking for his dog that ran away because the offering is red meat and the lady that was friends with the aunt before she died was like hey she told me to leave out this 
the stuff every night. I've seen one. I'm just paraphrasing because this happens through a few scenes. Yep. I've seen one. It's real. Please do this or otherwise fucked up shit's going to happen. And yep. then the lady promises and she forgets. Uh, and then the bar drunk gets killed. His dog helps out a lot. But anyway, so she's out in the middle of these woods and the, that lumbering elf is there and she's like, and he's like crying because he just got the shit kicked out of him. His ribs are probably broken and bruised and shit. And by and his then, father, by, by his daddy, daddy. <laughs> and then by daddy. daddy. And then she's calming him, and he's like, she's like really nice to him. She gives him like this really motivational, like speech thing. And all of a sudden, he just flips a switch and goes, "You're no one's been this because nice he's ne- before, right? He's never had that before. Yeah, he's like no one's been. So he been doesn't this know nice how to react before. to this nice, and he just." turns into a violent monster and then the red caps come and save her and the way they do the editing for that and you know we're not going insane amount of detail but the flashbacks and all that stuff it was so well paced it was so well executed you don't get to see what happened at first but they eventually show you which is always a winner for me and then so he goes missing and that's the point where it shifts the movie and the violent people you've been waiting to turn really violent ha- now have a reason to be violent. And they become terrors. Well, while they're looking for this, their son, which the other thing I'll say is I love that the fact that the family who was really mean to him, that's still their kin. And they turned into like protective family mode immediately. They weren't like, oh, he's gone missing. Well, cool. good riddance. See, Dude. I didn't get that from the brother and sister. I got that from the dad. Dude, the brother but and the sister. The brother and sister. The, the no, sister they... just wanted to fuck the house up. And oh. you know what I'm saying? Dude, she was just shitty. Rewind yourself, though. Think about how passionate they were in the bar scene when they were looking for their brother. They cared. They were interrogating. I think I think they were I think they were looking for a fight at Jump Street. That's true, but they they had some passion behind their eyes. They they were they he, when he found a out crackhead that crackhead has passion dead, behind their eyes. I mean, I'm telling you, give a fucking reason, man. <laughs> fine, they just, just needed a reason to fucking go for it. And two things that can was be true the on best, that. and that was the best reason. Oh shit, my brother's gone. I'm a fucking go ape on you. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, they I'm did sure it. That's a big part of it. And they right. did it. And um. But yeah, man, and then so when when they go missing, we're getting to the the point, the scene that we're talking about where you actually see the red cap. So when they they go missing, he goes missing, and they don't eat. And she was like, I'm telling you, the red cats took him. And even her husband was like, what the fuck are you talking about? All of a sudden, she's home, and one of the red caps show up. And it's the whole execution of that scene is, I won't go crazy into it, but it shows up it with a the head Why in not? a fucking bag dude. you've gone crazy and all the other shit <laughs> dude, it, <laughs> the, deliver this shit man. the head is in the fuck in a fucking bag and one of my favorite details is that it's not in some knapsack that they made that the red cats made no 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 it's in a grocery bag that they found they stole the grocery because they wouldn't have that kind of stuff. For yeah, no they took reason. the bag from their place. They took the ma- bag from their place because it's like, it's like, oh, this will do because they're smart and resourceful. And it shows you that immediately. And it shows you that it has intelligence and, and thought. It's not just a rabid thing. It wears clothes. It has jewelry. It they speak. Has a knife. They speak. <laughs> they joke. <laughs> they, have they, have, they have sarcastic jokes. Oh, so man, she I can't wait to go into that shit, dude. That's so so she he drops off the bag and it's the the lumbering oaf's head in it and it walks away. She tries to get the picture and stuff like that. And then after that, dude, the ho- and then she makes a deal with them. Uh, all blah blah. We don't have to go into that crazy detail, but uh when they so she makes a deal with them to because uh, they're burning these terrible people are burning their house down they're fucking up shit and then she, she's like i'll do whatever it takes just save my husband and and kill these people and they show up and that's what i love about this movie it's not them terrorizing innocent people right it's them killing the dudes that you wanted dead as soon as you met them and man that just makes it so much sweeter because it makes you especially for me cheer for the creature and be on the good guy side 
and it's just it's just so fun to be a part of that. It, well, this was, movie has a way of showing you somebody, making you feel something and type away about them, and then flipping it, right? And then somehow flipping it again. So it there's a back and forth with everyone because you don't really know these. But the Durek are still bad. Yeah. Well, they can the day, be. They can the, be. Oh, anybody. But that's that's the point of this is that anybody, if they're just existing, can be. Yeah, they're just existing. I don't think so. I also think that they are some of the people from the town. I mean, that could be a possibility too, for sure. Now. We're already in fucking spoiler territory. When she's yeah, yeah. in, when she's in their den, looking for her child, because at the end of the movie, after all this is said and done, so she, and everything so she is gives fine. Birth, well, let's let's backtrack a little bit. So she gives birth during when all this crazy shit is happening. These things are fucking saving their lives, but they're fucking killing these people and all this crazy shit. And then he shows back up and shoots one of them. So I want to talk about. The one of my favorite comedy scenes in almost anything. I laughed so hard the first and second time I watched mm -hmm. it. Yeah. He walks up and he so the the husband doesn't know that these things are on his side. He just sees these crazy goblin creatures. And all he has is a frying frying pan. pan. And he walks up <laughs> and they are they are eating and gutting the the bad chick. The evil the, the chick, fucking swamp donkey the swamp that you donkey. wanted to fucking kill the whole movie and so they're 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 cutting her up and they're surrounded her and he doesn't know you're right and so he shows up and he gets closer and hits one of them with the frying pan and he pops up and looks at him like unfazed but annoyed and goes no <laughs> no hitting and just the way it said it he says I, not he goes not me jamie That's yeah, it, <laughs> then, and then when he walks away he goes silly billy and it's yes. just so <laughs> well timed, and just the way it's like it adds so much personality to these things. I fucking dude, I, I'm. You just gotta watch it to see it. But it's so. It's I really so feel good. for the husband, man. This dude has yeah. been pushed the entire fucking movie, and he's a nice guy. He's, he's a nice not guy. A, he, there isn't anything really mean about him. He's right. He's a well, good-hearted he person. He developed anger issues because of his trauma, but he doesn't want. He wants to do better. <sighs> Well, the thing is, is it, he wants to protect his family, but every time he pops off, she kind of gets mad at him because she's like, "Yeah, that's not who I fell in love with. You're, right. you're supposed to be." That's what I mean, and that nice, adds that tension. Know. Yeah, right. yeah, I love that dude. I thought it was so just so well crafted with all of the all the. Shit. I mean, you and you. I think out of everyone, I really wanted to see her die. The 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 sister. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, they I, want, I wanted to see that event. entire family. I wanted to see them all fucking go. Dude, and but they, she fucking annoyed the shit out of me. Yeah. And she got she got manhandled. So yeah. anyway, the, she has the baby. And what's really cool about this thing is once all the guy people are dead, uh, the bad people are dead, they come back. Because this movie, you could think, could have ended in, uh, a few times, but it keeps going. And then you're thinking, oh, well, it's going to end soon, right? And then a whole nother act of this movie happens. It's so crazy, dude. Like, which, by the way, this continues after the craziest fucking. Yeah, scene. dude. And, it, and then it <laughs> elevates even to a crazier part. Yeah. It reminds me of the witch. The witch yeah. almost has the same kind of beat pattern that this one sure. has, where you feel like the movie is ended and then it ends again in a cool way. Um, big fan of when the monster lives but it ends with not everyone dying kind of shit and some powerful thing happens, but it does the same thing with the witch because so she, what you were talking about, she goes into the village, she goes down to, cause they, they steal her baby. That was their cost for saving her. Right. And you yeah. don't know why they steal children yet. Right. And I'm very interested to see what your opinion is on this. Cause I had to explain it to my girlfriend, but I had a better understanding of it the second time I watched it. Okay. So, she goes down. She hears her baby crying. She crawls all the way down. And she just had a baby. And what's really cool about this movie, attention to detail, she's not like a, a, a spring chicken. This is the very more – she hasn't slept yet. She just had a baby like six hours ago. And yet 
she so instead of just running like nothing happened she's like hold she's like in pain she's like holding her fucking uterus and shit dude she is just she is fucked she's she looks like she got fucking gang banged by fucking the worst people she's got her face is like drained of blood and shit and she still just perseveres and goes all the way down there and she uh finds her baby and she sees the little girl that was stolen from the aunt but as an old lady now but like a decrepit crazy witch thing and it talks because it it was stolen when it was like a little kid and uh so it talks like kind of like the 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 red cats but also has just poor baby like english and um like neanderthal kind of english and uh she basically just doesn't give up and kills just fucking kills that bitch by poking her fucking eyes out and i love she kills that. a few of them yeah dude she kills some of the red caps and just fucking goes mama bear ham and then when she kills the bitch she becomes their leader yeah, and yeah. it's that's such a fucking cool twist dude i was like that's so dope because it could have ended in so many cliche dumbass fucking ways dude you know she could have been like oh take me instead and then they you know the then the guys left with the baby and then she turns into a red cap or a witch or some right. stupid shit like that no dude she just becomes the queen and she be, can live her life and do whatever so fucking be, blood queen bro blood queen so before i tell you what my theory is or what i think you know how, how i think the war pans out which i'm pretty sure i'm right um i want to know what your opinion is so um, i am correct and everyone else is wrong no i just i do want to see what your opinion is uh so what do you think the lore is about stealing the kids why the chick was old and like their okay. leader? she um, said take me instead and they started laughing the red cops started laughing and said too old exactly so right there. So they are very childlike. They're menacing, mischievous fucking creatures. So I think they, they, they certain people deem worthy for them to take. That's who they fucking take. So do you think that – so here's, here's what it is. is that I think they need a queen because they called them the, the mother. I, and so I, yeah. think, I think they need to steal a female baby. Mm -hmm. and it they need to raise it as their queen from a young age up until they're about to die and like the the magic of the power or whatever fucking you know no, male nutrition or whatever i don't even know if they die they might just they might be immortal beings and no 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 not the not, the not the not the red caps oh. not the red caps die until their queen dies because they Natural. Oh, so you're saying that the that the aunt that owned the house before was their queen? No, I think their da her daughter was their queen. I think they steal a female mm. baby. No, but the daughter was definitely part of the the Dury clan, the Dury clan. Only right? because they stole her. It made, she was wearing her same clothes. She wasn't their height. She was a normal, but she was old because she would have been, yeah, you know, old as fuck. Um, and I'm sure because of all the other, I mean, shit that goes on down and she's living like an animal, you know, um, like and a she's goddamn animal and sh she's not educated at all. She could barely speak and stuff like that. So I think when the human queen dies, the baby that they stole dies, they have to have another baby to replace her and raise it to be that, but nobody, because this is what I told, she goes, well, why, you know, my girlfriend's like, why hasn't this happened before? Or, you know, blah, blah. I said, I reason why I think no one like of an adult age did it and just said, I can just live my life is because two things. One, people that live there that believe in them, not only respect them, but fear them and they're intimidated by them. So they wouldn't dare go into their village and do it. Second thing is when your baby's stolen by them, you don't know what they do with them and you are too intimidated and scared to go find out. So you're just like, well, my baby's fucking lost forever. So I don't think anyone is, cause, and she's British, so she doesn't believe in the same shit that they do. 
she's not intimidated by these fucking things. I mean, she's creeped out by them, but she's like, I'm going to fucking get my baby back regardless. So I guarantee you she was like the first one that ever just stormed the Capitol and just fucking went in there and just stormed the Capitol. I don't know why I used that vernacular, but here we are. Um, here we are. <laughs> but I think she just went in there, took the took the baby, the baby back, and uh and said i'll be your queen instead of my baby and they were like oh shit this bitch just killed that other bitch uh we want her and they bow to her (laughs) and then they just make her the blood queen instead of it be so she just changed the tradition of instead of stealing a baby i'll take over and then now what's really cool is if my theory is correct she could appoint this to her daughter instead of and raise her normally and just, but when she becomes of age she's like all right now it's your job i'm old as shit and then you have to do this under your family member like you're you're if you don't if you only have boys you have to get a fucking niece or nephew to do it or some shit i don't fucking know or a niece to do it and then just keep going down the line and now it changed the whole trajectory of that shit okay uh, that's what's cool about this movie is I, I could be completely fucking wrong, but it gave you just enough to understand the movie, but not enough to yeah, where that's you fine. Can make your own kind of conclusion. I can't even it. disagree with you because that makes sense. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. It, 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 a lot of things can be true with this movie. So I don't know. That's really, it's really something. To yeah, no, this, this movie's a fully loaded baked potato, man. I yeah, fucking fully love. loaded baked potato. Fully Absolutely. goddamn loaded. So there are tits in this movie, E Dubs. Since since you didn't get a chance to see this movie, and I need someone to recap the tits for me. So exactly. So instead of doing your segment later, we'll just do it now. And uh, so we are officially in Eric's movie boobies. Eric's movie boobies. So Eric's movie boobies. I will help you out. There are one pair of tits in this movie. And they're old, saggy, nasty witch titties, dude. Oh, AJ's good. favorite. Witch tits are the best. We love right? witch, dude. They are <laughs> they are full frontal in most of the shots. Just saggy and gray, and oh. and wrinkly and horrific, and they are present. Just yeah. vanilla they slammers. The, yeah, dude, they kick the fuck a door in and say, I'm here with my saggy fucking saddlebags, <laughs> dude. She got them Walmart grocery bags. In the <laughs> oh, yeah. Walmart grocery bags with some <laughs> fucking <laughs> little oranges in a sock, baby. Yeah. Little oranges in a sock. <laughs> and them just swing little... bags. <laughs> them, she's from Houston. She's from Houston. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably gonna watch this movie tonight. You are those, should, are dude. Those Houston titties ain't great. Is that just what you're saying? Only they them titties. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Houston them just because they swang and bang, you know. No, it yeah. is. It is uh, worth a watch, dude. You will not be disappointed. You're gonna be very angry for most of the movie. <laughs> like, no, like you're gonna be like. Fuck these fucking people. Until a certain point, you're going to go, good it shit. Was all paid off. <laughs> yeah. It that's a good, off. it's a good payoff. Yeah. Oh, Very good. good. Payoff. Yeah. Very fun movie. Yeah. Thanks for covering the boobies for me. Yeah. You know, anytime, man. You know, I got your back. Appreciate that. Yeah. I got your back on some boobies, especially. Mm. What are you even talking some about? Good days. Some titties. Mona. So you leave Mona alone. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Stop picking on Mona. She's got a fucking. You gave her a fucking. Uh, I I lost words. I don't know. Yeah, I, I got you. I'm just seeing seeing if I missed anything. No, that's okay. Oh, the cool, the shit out. the cool uh, the kills were really cool in it. We didn't. Really was your talk favorite? About what was your favorite kill? I got to say, uh, I really liked, I, if I had to pick one, cause I, I want to be fair. I wanted to give you two, but I'll, I'll pick one. Yeah. What's it's your money when, shot? It's when the brother 
and and I'll explain why when the brother gets killed, not the oaf, but the the ramen haired one, <clears throat> the grease head. Mm-hmm. He he gets he so he gets one in the back originally, and he get I mean he gets fucked up by that thing, but he still makes it out of there, and he immediately runs to the car and just gets in it and tries to start it, and he's the doors are locked. And his dad is on the other outside of the outside of it. And all of a sudden he's like, he's like his, his dad's like, get unlocked. What are you doing? What are you doing? And his dad sees the red cat come out from the back of the car. And it literally just sticks him right in the fucking juggler, dude. Just gets him just one little, it's and it knows that's all it needs to do. It, it got the money shot. Just, and just fucking scurries away. It doesn't do anything unintelligent. It doesn't just keep at it. It it it, it knows exactly what it needed to do and get the Precision. fuck out of it. Precision. And then it just sticks and his dad doesn't know. He like he sees him. He's like, what the because he it's it's still silhouetted. And he and the whole thing is unfolding in one shot. And it's just beautifully orchestrated and the blood starts squirting out and his dad breaks the fucking window with his gun and opens up the door and his son just comes out and chokes on him. And the only time you feel something for this family is in this moment because he is a terrible father and he talks shit to not only the oaf, but to all of his family members. And he basically talks about how they're useless. They're fucking dumb all this shit right but they were but they were but he was fucking ruthless to them and in this moment as his son is dying he's looking at him he goes i never told you but i'm proud of you i'm proud of you and and it's so well acted and just heartfelt and you're like man you actually felt that gravity that's the thing about him man he's a great actor he's a great actor dude he's a fucking he's a great villain like I said before, he knows. He knows he exactly. He's like, oh, much depth to that yeah. role, dude. Just every time he was annoyed with daddy, just it, it got escalated more and more just at the right pace. It was never overacted or like oversold where it felt goofy. It felt in, like uncomfortable every time that he did it. Yeah. And it just, uh, yeah, dude, because uh, I could just go on and on about that shit, too. But that was my favorite kill. What was yours? Oh, when his daughter got it. Yeah, that was the they, that was the when time. they cut her open because up until okay, so right before this scene where she gets it, she's choking the main character who's fucking pregnant in in labor. This girl is yeah in yeah, yeah. and in labor. This girl is definitely showing you how fucking high class of a fucking person she is. What a piece of shit. On, I mean, she sells the character so she can clearly act. Yeah, I haven't dude. seen her in anything else, so I can't really yeah, there give her are, a fucking whatever. Besides but, the main daddy, besides daddy, all yeah. the rest of them were like just British or Irish actors that only play and stuff. I think the girl Maya plays in something. I've seen her before. In another, yeah. Unless yeah, you're yeah. specifically talking about that family. But no, I was specifically talking about that family. But yeah, that, that chick, and I even think that her husband played in some stuff. And there were some other other characters in the town that I recognized. Uh, some uh, from some, but they were all British, she you know, stuff, yeah. Um, but yeah, anyway, so she, yeah, she's choking this bitch out. Mm, no, but just just watching her look up and having her be surrounded by red caps, and they just fucking they pin her down, so they, they do pin the her down, down, and then she like she tries to give you like one last little, like, you know, you're trying to give me something, I don't know, she's like probably a an SCP reference shit. or something, yeah, because yeah, she she's a shit. fucking shit pig. And they gut her as such. They yeah. gut her like the fucking pig she is. And I don't know. She just, she looked like a mouth breathing gum chewer. Yes. You know what I mean? Like she looked yes. like she'd have a side ponytail yes. in high school and you always want to kick her oh, fucking face yeah. into the locker. Talking she's as she's fucking, chewing. Yeah. Just so a what the fuck you piece got? of shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. That bitch. She's a fucking. Just chewing just a, with attitude. Mm-hmm. Chewing yeah. gum with attitude. Yeah, the kind of bitch who doesn't know how to wipe her ass. Like that's what she looks like. <laughs> so the, when she finally gets it, man, it's it's great because then they chop her up and they're fucking eating her and ripping that her pieces. Probably... And that's when the that's when the 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 husband comes out 
Yeah. And he goes to hit the one with the pan, but he's. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the silly Billy man. Every fucking time I watch this movie, it gets me it's, every time. It really is. It really is the funniest part of the whole fucking movie. So, and when they so a couple of the red caps get killed, and when they do, you actually feel for them. Like one of them gets a cleaver in the head, and it's and the guy tortures it. I mean, one like, of it says "Daddy." He says yeah. "No, Daddy" before he yeah, gets yeah. gets his head crushed. No, in. Daddy, no. Yeah, yeah, dude. And it's just it's like mocking them, you know. And stuff. so another funny part of this movie was the, the the father and son when they first are introduced to the red cat, they knock it down, and he goes, "Is that a fucking monkey?" He's like, "He's wearing clothes." <laughs> he's like, "Monkey wears clothes. Monkeys wear clothes." You ever see the circus, y'all? You're yeah. fucking. <laughs> That whole interaction is hilarious. That was good. It wasn't. It wasn't too long. It wasn't. Yeah, it you know was what perfect. I'm saying? That was. That was a really good little joke. It was a that fucking they monkey or something. He goes, yeah. He goes raccoon. He goes. It's wearing clothes. Or no. He goes. It's a raccoon or something. He goes. It's wearing clothes. And then he goes. Well, it's a monkey or something. He's like. <laughs> He's like, it's wearing clothes. Like he just repeats mm-hmm. himself. Like, are you? He goes, a monkey wears clothes. And then, dude, it's so it's. Mm, yeah, good shit. yeah. Really that good dude shit. was homeschooled for sure. So before we do, <laughs> oh, not schooled at all, dude. You just dropped out. Fucking latchkey kid. Yeah. Yeah. You just dropped out of high school at the age of fucking fourteen. Um, start smoking. I don't, smoking you, I, don't, I don't honestly. I don't think none of his kids made it to high school. Smoking heaters, yeah, dude. Every, smoking- everything about these, like these these kids had no, like they had no, uh, they weren't nice. They had no fucking self awareness. Well, they were very said, like, inconsiderate fucking people. He even said to the when he had a heart to heart with the uh the main character, the pregnant chick. He goes, every you know their mom ever since their mom died i've i've been kind of lost with them cuz their mom was the always the nice one you know i always did with a little bit of force and then he does like the jabby uncomfortable like fake punches at the husband but he mentions that like yeah ever since i became a single dad i fucking i only know how to raise these kids with violence and meanness <laughs> and it just fostered and cultivated terrible human beings which is kind of why he hated the big oaf because he felt like that was his fault. The, yeah, when he was born, he like the mother dies. Yeah, so he beat it. He beat on that kid more. And he was their half brother of the other yep. two kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. That's what I mean. There's so many little details that just add character, add add depth. It's it, uh, so I wanted to talk about the the director. His name's John Wright, and he did uh, another movie that I like a lot. Uh, especially since I saw it the second time, I liked it even more. And AJ said it's just okay, but I would highly recommend you watch it again because I think, I mean, I could be wrong, dude, but I think that you would like it. I, th- I think you're wrong. Here's yeah. why: because since the last episode, I rewatched The Endless. All right, fair enough. And it was just as bad as I watched the first time. Okay, so The Endless I can see, but this seems more up your alley. This, I'd I, rather watch Tremors than Grabbers. I don't know, man. I think it's a so Grabbers is the other movie that John Wright he he did <laughs> he didn't write Grabbers, but he directed it. And I thought the special effects was awesome for a low budget, you know, Irish horror film. Uh, I thought that it did a cool blend again, just like this movie of practical and special. The jokes are awesome in Grabbers. It was so funny of a movie for me. Uh, the premise was great. The execution was great. The acting was also great. And I, it's, so it's basically about these blood sucking alien tentacle monsters that uh, fuck up an, a, a cove town in Ireland. And it's, it's just really solid, real, a lot of fun. And I would even say for our double feature segment, this movie on Welcome and Grabbers would be a great holiday st patrick's day watch N- neither of them fall on st patrick's day but they have because of the irish and the pub and the drinking aspect of this both of these movies there is a feel of and the red cats are kind of like you know referenced as leprechauns this both these movies have a an irish st patrick's day feel to them and i i feel like this would both of those would be a good double feature considering it has the very similar style 
um, execution, hard hitting hit to it. And uh, the lore with those alien creatures I thought was solid. And uh, I just wish you felt the same, but we can't win them all. Yeah, whatever. I don't have to fucking like everything you like. It just confuses me because it feels like a movie that you would love. I know you pretty well, and I feel like this would be right. The, I mean, what didn't you like about Grabbers? I'm I'm genuinely curious. Like, what is it that's meh about about it for you? Everything. No, nah, I just it just didn't resonate with me. I watched it, and it was easily forgettable, as the last movie we fucking reviewed. It that that's just how I feel about. It. Like, I, like if there's nothing that really stands out about it, nothing really grabs me. It's called Grabbers. Nothing grabbed me. Nothing right, fucking got, got me. I saw your ju- so, I saw your grin when you said that. <laughs> um, but no, I'd, I'd much rather just watch Tremors. That's it. That's how I, I feel about it. I'm not... I, I don't have to shit on every fucking movie. I also don't have to like everything that my fucking Both of these eyeballs movies are on, glazed over. So Yeah. Both of these movies are on Shudder. If you get a gumption to rewatch that grabbers movie try it maybe you feel i'm different. not doing it i did it I, I redid it on i i hey i redid it on fucking endless okay you guys said it was like oh it's such a good fucking movie blah, blah, blah. Well, i rewatched it thinking like oh maybe i missed something no nope. how you're talking about you guys okay oh you guys Use guys. Hey, I watched the movie. All right. Hey, hey watch the movie. Use guys. Watch the guys the fucking movie. Watched. It was not the movie. Was fucking I made a little, garbage. I made a little, little, little chicken fettuccine Alfredo. I sat down and I fucking watched the movie. All right. Oh, oh, grab I hope, I hope you choke on the next spaghetti pasta meal you eat, bitch. <laughs> I'll choke I hope on you. Your I hope you nuts. fucking <laughs> choke on a fucking monogatti. He's gonna choke on your noodle. Yeah. When, when he gives you that. Mouth I called mouth. it. I called it manicotti, so you'd mm-hmm. understand what I'm talking about. But I call it monogot. But I hope you choke on either one of them. I, I understood both of those things that you said to me. You didn't have to Americanize it for me. I got Americanize a lot of things oh, for you. God, you don't fucking so understand so a lot loud. of shit, you bitch. That's so loud, dude. That's so. Uh, loud. Oh, I'm sorry. I was leaning over <laughs> to get another beer. Oh god, that <laughs> fucked me up, bro. I'm sorry. I apologize. You know what? I can love shit. low moan. Dude, me too, dude. Yeah. What do you like? Bro, with I got the some hands for that chopsticks. Honestly, like I, dude, I I like to mix it up: chicken, beef, chicken steak, or beef, or whatever. They no, have. no, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My fault. I didn't. I didn't specify. So, like, you could get chicken lo mein, shrimp lo mein, beef lo mein, right, pork right. lo mein, whatever. What I'm saying is, let's say you like you got lo mein, right? Mm-hmm. Do you want general style chicken with it? Do you want beef and broccoli with that shit? That's what I'm saying. Oh. Like, what el- other I'm thing general do you pair guy. with it? General okay. sauce is pretty solid. That's that's okay. kind of a go-to. I'm I'm big sesame chicken fan. That's pretty too. generic and white. Okay. Uh, sweet and sour. <laughs> I don't do sweet and sour with lo mein, Sweet and though. sour is my second guess on yours. Uh, but sweet and sour <laughs> beef and broccoli <laughs> is good, but general, I mean, yeah, general sour is kind of the food. you know, that's just deep fried chicken, right? Yeah, dude, fucks me <laughs> up every time, but I still eat it. <laughs> you know what? I, I, you know, I, I didn't say I didn't the, eat it, I said I am picky about what, when, and what I eat. So, you definitely wouldn't eat that on a first date, no, but like if you had a date <laughs> night, you wouldn't eat that because you're like my ass, depending on how much I like the person. But no, okay. I usually wouldn't. I fuck with that Szechuan. There's one place down here that I go Ooh, to. I so, they do it good, dude. They do it good. They make it hot and it's fucking, it's sweet. Like it's fucking good. You have to fucking, it's got a nice bite to it and it's just hot enough to where you're like, okay, at least I know I'm eating Szechuan because sometimes you order some shit and they're like, they make it like white people hot. So it's not hot at all. Basically, like just hot. Dude, yeah, 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 yeah. It's fucking I'm, very. I'm jealous because the Chinese <clears throat> restaurant in my town sucks, dude. It you sucks have any good. Chinese people? Yeah, they even fucking. They own in, this uh... the one Chinese restaurant in my town, and they're ch- Chinese. Dude, when COVID happened, this is this is my kind. Of town. Are they the only Chinese people there though? <laughs> It's Probably. only five. I, that's the only ones I've ever. Dude. I don't even see them shopping at Walmart, <laughs> dude. I only see them at the Chinese restaurant. <sighs> I don't even know where they get groceries. Did you say I don't even see them at Walmart? Yeah, dude. I don't even see them out and about. <laughs> He's like, see there's them. one Walmart. You usually see everyone there. 
Yeah, you see but they're fucking workhorses, the bro. They're working. <laughs> so when COVID happened, dude, this is the kind of town I live in. The the when COVID happened, uh mm-hmm. someone threw a brick through their fucking window. Like it fucked up their store. Wow. Why? Because they'd hate Chinese food? No, because it's <laughs> uh, so such so, a I'm fucking like, weird reaction. COVID Don't was blamed on the Chinese the people. Place open. Yeah. Wait a minute. So they th- so they think that these people they, came over yeah. and fucking brought COVID with them. Yeah, Twenty years later, I don't know, dude. I don't. I don't try to dissect the brain of a fuck Missourian, bro. Are you fuck, kidding man. me? That makes that doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, I would never do that. Me either. It was I love food really entirely way too much to be fucking with the restaurant. I don't try to. I don't try to get in the psyche of a Missourian, dude. That's how madness happens. That is, that is how is that right? that's some deep dark Missouri. shit. Deep dark shit in those fucking methods. Missourite sounds like a fucking discolored pimple on your asshole. Yeah, it is. <laughs> that's exactly what Missourite is. Pimple Missourite right near the hole. Missouri might be a lovely place. No, dude, the Chinese the it. Chinese place in my no, it's not. It's not. It's not. <laughs> It's not. It's a fucking shithole. Fuck that place. <laughs> Chinese place in my town does what I like to call elbow meat, where like the chicken, the chicken Fuck. looks like it looks like it looks like elbow meat. It's just gross. It's all rubbery. It's just fucking, straight up foreskin. Yeah, dude, it's, it's, <laughs> it's fucking, elbow meat. Just elbow meat. Dude. I hate that word. <laughs> that doesn't sit well with me. No, yeah, it doesn't sit well with me. Either. Nope. But I eat it anyway, because the only yeah. option I got. Yeah, a new disgusting thing unlocked. Elbow meat. Elbow meat. I've got a question. Eric looks guys. like he's fucking, he's waiting the fuck. He's I'm doing casting, he's doing casting fuck couch you. fucking interviews, boy. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> you know, the secret to Eric is he's always ready to fuck. Yeah, boy. Oh, now he's got the light, dude. Baby. Look at that devil, oh. dude. Look at you're that. making a fucking deal with the devil right you there. Look, yeah, <laughs> you look like you're about to fucking make a wish come true. God yeah. damn. You make urethras oh, burn, bro. Oh, you know what? <laughs> yeah, all right. I need to see that. Fucking titties Dude, all up in that shit. Speaking of all of boobies, you know they banned porn in Texas on the internet? What? Dude, if you, go to, if you go to Pornhub or browsers or anything like that without a vpn it's all blocked what <laughs> yeah dude i didn't believe it and i pulled it up i was trying to fucking dude if they try to pull some sh- they probably try to pull some socialist shit like that here in fucking missouri we would be riding the streets bro my god jesus christ isn't that insane they, though so they that's don't want you to jerk off anymore that's some fascist like, shit. we just that's want you to for fuck. a red, Stop for a red state that gives a lot of fucks about your rights that's crazy dude that's crazy i'll just show you because it won't come up <laughs> <laughs> hold on wait. move yeah, to florida gonna... everything is legal here <laughs> Look at your cousin is legal. In fucking Ooh, look at this, dude. It's legal where you live, bitch. Oh, Shut for up. sure. <laughs> this Before is I had my girlfriend to hit on my third cousin. What were we even talking about? Did you just say you fucked your third cousin? No, I said I hit on her. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like that's you see this shit? dude. I do see this shit. This I is see a lot wild. of words. This is why. They're like, oh, hey, you came to this website to jerk off. Unfortunately, the Texas law for the age verification is ineffective. Oh, my God, dude. That's crazy. I swear to God, if I open up Pornhub and this popped up, I would start throwing my furniture across the fucking room. I would be fucking going nuts. This is your essential fucking go-to is Pornhub, though? No, I'm just... You know, <laughs> it's it's a quick one if you just got a random yeah bone you're like i got two off. minutes to rub one out <laughs> it is good. It is good. It'll only take me a minute now you gotta get through 20 seconds of the drum solo and then you fucking <laughs> <laughs> jesus we, we were drum, talking about it at the cookout last solo. night and my boy was like dude there's a website you should go to and he's like i don't even make it through the thumbnail dog <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out! Oh of here. man, 
It's wild though, dude. You go to any porn site. That's crazy. That's fucking nuts. Are you gonna bum me out, dude? Well, I'm just gonna have to start jerking off to horror movies. I mean, yeah. I could just send you a bunch of DVDs and clips and stuff. I yeah, can help, I can help I'm out your fucking talk to AJ. He, he's jerked off to a dead cart since he was twelve. You know what I'm talking about here? That's my shit, dude. Come on. Yeah. You know how many zombies this dude, side boob zombies this dude has fucking put his bud to? Come on. Dude. <laughs> Don't fucking yuck my yum, you bitch. Oh, that's funny as shit. All right, pull up the Rotten Tomatoes score. I think we gabbed enough. Yeah, he beat this dead horse enough, man. Let's go. Gibbity gab. Gabbily go. de la AJ. Bang. Oh, am I rating it before we do the tomato score? No, we did the tomato score first. Oh, that's right. So I disagree with both of these uh, biased fucks. Um, I think you're a biased. I think fuck. this is the first time I've like. Not hey, everyone it. jerks off to Irish shit like you do. Yeah, I'm saying you can't hate other people's opinion. Yeah, just... I sure can. I just did. Fuck. <laughs> <it>. <laughs> just fucking do what I want. I'll fill sock to whatever I want. Yeah. 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 You know what? I'm kind of. I'm gonna side with Ben on that one. You can do whatever the fuck you want. I can do whatever the fuck I want. I'm pretty sure I could just say my opinion. It's just not America. I can get on porn if I want. You just can't watch porn if you're in Texas. <laughs> That's, crazy. that's that's fucking wild. You're a pat, you're a fucking taxpayer, and they're telling you not like where to jerk off. Yeah, dude. What <laughs> dude, you know what's there? wild? I didn't know. I didn't hear anything about it, and I was just going straight straight to getting it done. Right? Yeah, of course. Pre work sesh, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and I pulled it up, and I was like, "Fuck, I can't even read." So I closed it out. <laughs> can't even, I can't read. even read. All the blood's left <laughs> my <have> brain. <laughs> oh, my dick was already. I, I, I had to hit the hidden <laughs> folder, bro. <laughs> I the hidden, the hidden the folder. Oh no! Yeah, I was like, I don't know. Oh, man. You had to use your imagination, like you were fucking. Oh no! Like 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 jerk off like a age. pilgrim. No, I was just, <laughs> it's just the folder of all the X's you got. You know that you keep hidden. Oh, of course. That's the spank yeah. bank, baby. The no, spank bank. Fucking life, dude. What's your lotion? What's your brand? I'm not gonna tell you that. Oh, you just fu- come on, you just fucking said all of that. Which is it, Lubaderm, Jurgens? What do you got? Avino? What's it is? I don't want to. I do it. need to know. That's an important part of the story. It, it's whatever his girlfriend buys. Is exactly right. <laughs> she walks by, so, spits in his hand. Sometimes it's scented and fucks her hair. She's like, <laughs> <"Hey>, <laughs> <fuck her." laughs> Yeah, she yeah. comes over. She's like, <laughs> just hawks a loogie. She's like, use that, you fucking pig, and then walks <laughs> out. <laughs> it's probably a vino because that sounds like some couple shit. So I, I use, use Jergens because it rhymes with jerk. I use uh, sensitive uh, baby lotion, Dove. Gross. That's the worst <laughs> thing. I use my I use my son's lotion. You could have been like, you could have been like, oh, I use cocoa use butter. You've been sons. safe. You went straight up. Oh God, you just did the lotion. lotion. God damn it, that's yeah, gross. I use, I use sensitives for for children lotion. Basically, God. Ben's telling you he's rubbing the skin off his dick. Yeah. <laughs> this was. dude ain't got no fucking skin on his cock. You buy your own gross. lotion. Quit using something that has baby in the title. <laughs> All right, just buy some lotion. I'm saying that's some jerkin. <laughs> jerkin is one letter away from jerkin. So <laughs> that's oh all man, like coconut oil, grapeseed oil. You could have said anything. You could have said you jerk off with a stick of butter, and I've been like, okay. You could have said olive you said oil, baby lotion, and I'm like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, bro? Oh my god! <laughs> like I put foot powder on my dick and I fucking I, I run it through. I use top of fucking powder. nasty yeah. animal. I use the I use the tears of my kids. Whoa, <laughs> whoa! But what I and said I was fucking wrong. I Holy can't, you can, you can say all that, and I can't change your name to lesbian. <laughs> I'm no. sorry. He just said he jerked off with the tears of his child. What a fucking weird thing! I can't, I can't let that go. That's weird, dude. That's disturbing. That's even that's disturbing for that's me. Why I said it? No, I, <laughs> I, I think you're being truthful. And not oh, you think I'm being truthful? Do you think I'm being truthful? Fuck you! Get a haircut. 
We're going. 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 I don't agree with the score. The score's terrible. What would you make it? What would your score be? My, uh, well, I, I mean, mine's high 80s, low 90s. High sure. 80s? Yeah, dude. I love this fucking movie. It's great. No, I mean, I have a higher rating than you do. Low 90s? I mean, I, I'm, yeah, I, I, it's, it's up there. It's, it's fantastic. I fucking, I love it. A good score. What's your AJ rating? Oh man, four gutted swamp donkeys for sure. This movie is <laughs> fucking Stomp. good, dude. It's four man. slam pigs? Is that what you're saying? This is four slam pigs. Gutted fucking slam pigs. Four of them. Uh. Mouth breeding, fucking loud, chewing ass bitches. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Four dead of them. Four catch me outside. How about that? Good. Sure. Sure. The Irish version of that. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna Boy. I'm gonna timestamp that. <laughs> <laughs> timestamp these nuts. What's the name of this episode? Uh, uh, ben is a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> That's, it. That's it. That's it, dude. All these jokes are gonna stay in. I just didn't want that beat underneath my name the entire. Who cares? Time. No one cares. Stop being a weenie. Dude, you're a fucking weenie. Stop being a dumb weenie. We've been recording for two and a half hours, dude. Yeah. Fuck. This episode is two hours long. Well. Because y'all won't shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking long-winded motherfucking. I'm not even going to make it to the bar. So, uh, no, what's, your, what's your recommendation? <laughs> what's, your, what's your recommendations? So... Did you like ABCs of Death? Uh, from what I've seen of it, yeah. I Did mean, you like VHS? Any of the VHS? Yeah, yeah. I like. What the... about Love and Robots? I love Love and Robots. All right, so you might want to check out Galaxy of Horrors, which is on Tubi. Okay. Ooh, okay. It's never... an hour, forty-six minutes. It is a bunch of shorts. Eric, some of these movies got boobies. Now, these movies are shorts. They're great. There's no fat in these fucking shorts. I really, I love movies like this because you get to watch so many fucking, Bobby's. you know. Oh, yes, absolutely. The first fucking movie, the first, uh, um, whatever, the first uh, story that they have in this movie has got fucking tits. Um, all, of, all of the thing, all of the movies that are, all of the short films that are depicted in Galaxy of Horrors is fucking great. I highly recommend it. It's fun. Like I said, if you like VHS and 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 uh, the ABCs of Death and shit like that, little short films, this is fucking extremely palatable. I highly recommend it. It's fun as shit. Uh, awesome. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even know it existed. I'm totally check it out, dude. That's totally my jam. Hell yeah. It's it was it it's it's fun. The only it's okay. You like. The only thing that sucks is sometimes like you get to you get to another story and you're like, oh, I have to start over again. You got to remember all these are they're only ten minutes, if that. So you're not even getting well acclimated into a fucking story before you're hit with some sh crazy shit. And these movies get fucking crazy. Like these movies are wild as fuck. Right. Uh, that wasn't forced. I couldn't help that one. But I highly recommend this movie. This movie's great. It's gruesome. The effects are great. Um, uh, a lot of practical effects. They're all great. And the third story in this movie, you get to literally watch in slow motion a housefly get destroyed. And there's something so satisfying about that because houseflies suck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You get a fly in your fucking house, you're like this motherfucker. And you go to hit it, you can't get it. This dude gets it. And, you, and it's a slow fucking scene. But um, yeah, that really hit me in the fucking plum. So I'm gonna hit you with that one. Sweet Galaxy of Horrors. I'm gonna. Mm -hmm. I will sincerely check it out. Um, so, you know, of course, watch Grabbers. I already mentioned that. That's not my other recommendation, but I think that this would be a great double feature. Blah blah. The blah, blah, other blah, 
the other movie that I would recommend is another Irish movie called uh, A Hole in the Ground. Either The Hole in the Ground or A Hole in the Ground. I think it's A Hole in the Ground. I think it's and, A Hole in the Ground. Uh, very creepy. Uh, Irish, good director. He also directed a segment on, we've mentioned before, the, uh, the Cabinet of Curiosities curated by Guillermo del Toro. And it's... Um, it's just a solid, solid, solid horror movie. And I has just like this movie has good lore. It's creepy. It doesn't have a lot of comedy in it, but it's no, this it, movie is good. This movie is it, good. It's very good. Uh, very stylized, a lot of fun. I don't want to tell you what the lore is of it all, but it deals with some, some cool folk, Irish, uh, Celtic kind of shit. And it's, it's definitely a high recommend for me. You could even get away with watching this as a double feature with Unwelcome, and it'd be good. Ooh, you can watch A Hole in the Ground with a double feature with The Gate. Yeah, probably good. I, that's probably one of my favorite fucking horror movies. I love that movie yeah. so much. I think that's on Shudder, too, actually. Yeah. The Gate. Yeah. Um, just such a good fucking streaming service. Fuck yeah. Anyway, we've been talking long enough. <clears throat> uh, I'm just going to do my plugs real quick. I'm getting all my stuff, all the kinks worked out in my me streaming video games. I'm going to try to do multiple multiple streams on multiple different platforms. And it's uh, just going to be TFT, but it's going to be King River Rat, either King River Rat or that plus underscore TFT. Uh, right now I'm playing around with Twitch, but I'm looking into kick as well, but all that information will be posted. I'll talk about it more and more. Uh, pretty, pretty excited about it. Hopefully I can convince AJ to jump in there with me sometimes. And if, especially if I do a horror movie game, he's shaking his head, but he's just being a meanie. Uh, he's such a meanie. He treats me so terribly. That's not true. I'm a very nice person. Yeah. Okay. I always so, tell you happy birthday and happy Valentine's day and happy Arbor day. No, you don't. I send you Hallmark cards for every holiday. Nope. So he's a liar. That's it. I would ask if you go and plug anything, but you never do, and you make me look foolish. So if you want to plug something, go ahead. I don't have anything to plug. Yes, you do. You're a tattoo artist. You're an artist. <clears throat> you do things. There's tons of things that you. But can see, plug. that's the thing. I don't have anything to plug because I'm, I'm doing things. <laughs> I'm too busy right now. I really can't like. Work is great. I love that I get to doodle on people and I appreciate the fuck out of everyone. All my clients. I have I'm at the point now where all my clients are solid motherfuckers. They come in, they're great. Um, they fucking they sit well. I love how I love being able to talk to the people. I get to you know, I get to draw on. So life is good, man. I got nothing to complain about. And then when I go home, I make comic books. So I, I do comic I do some illustrations for uh, Fierce Comics. Um, Hearst Lord of Horror three is coming out. Oh yeah. Uh, so I've done the first two and I've done the Hoof and Horns for them. Fierce Comics they're great. Uh, great bunch of dudes. I love working with them. So I there enjoy, you go. I enjoy them a lot. Uh, I appreciate them for giving me fucking opportunity to uh, draw my garbage. And have them sell it. So I really appreciate the fuck. I love those guys. Um, yeah, man. Other than me, just you know, sucking my own dick's life and shit. Well, know. that was a good. That was a good plug. There you go. That's all I wanted from you. Appreciate. Oh, it. that was the fastest shit I've ever taken. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I think that's a good way to end it. You didn't <laughs> so even bring us in there with you. We had to talk about a butthole. <laughs> I had the headphones on. I was listening. I was like, I need to get back before the plugs drop. Uh, what do you got to plug, E Dubs? His butthole. <laughs> he plug his butt. That's it. <laughs> no DJing stuff. Nothing. Nothing you want to mention. Nah, I'm still getting it all set up. All right. Fair enough. Well, um, the space will be open for you when you are. All right. So we end. We end the episodes the same way every time. And uh, I'm done with this bitch. Peace. <laughs>